Hi there, my name is Daniel and I'm speaking for Gondola Writing, Art and Design and today we're going to have a look at this set of tools called the Sandbox and they're found up here. If they're not up there, go View, Toolbars and then down to the penultimate one which says Sandbox and click on that. So what's the Sandbox for? You might want to create some terrain, so some hills, some mountains or you want to make, uh, make realistic water you can do that all with the sandbox. It's also it's for undulation and I'll show you exactly what it does. We're not going to be using from contours but we are going to be using from scratch so click on that. Then I'm going to just use the origin and click. Then you can see as you move it out that these lines appear. That is for how many rows or how many columns depends on which way you look at it. So just click again and then pull across. I'm not clicking, I'm not dragging, I'm just moving the mouse and you making this grid like this and click once more. So as I say there's a grid now but you can't do anything with that yet so if you click on it with the select tool you'll notice that it selects the whole thing. We don't want that. So right click and click explode. No, there's no explosion, it just breaks stuff down into its smaller sections what we can do now is go up to the sandbox tools and click on this one called smooth so click that and then of course we can change the radius by just typing in figure say uh, go back to two meters which I think is what it starts at and then we can move it around like this selecting a point perhaps and click on that then you can move the mouse down or up and it will move the main point that you've clicked on just a little bit more than every other point around it leaving points that are miles away as they are and so you can start creating shapes like this you might want to bring parts of it down and other parts up and you can see very quickly how using the orbit tool uh, just how it starts to make the shapes that you might want of course if you want to go into greater detail you're going to need a bigger grid to start with so as I click just to here you might want to go further along and then you would zoom out and then start doing the effect so if you select all, all of it just by triple clicking and then right click you can do soften or smooth edges I have it open over here and then just ensure that soften coplanar and smooth normals are both selected and then pull this from 20 degrees down here up all the way and this will give you the smooth shape that uh, you will want if you use uh, this set of tools uh, however if you want to revert back to how it is just again triple click and then you can bring it back down to its lower levels hopefully you found this tutorial interesting and informative so please like subscribe etc There'll be a few more on the way, so bye for now.